Hi, I am Kate Hudson, and this is my everyday wellness, skincare, makeup look. I'm gonna start by cleansing my face. I'm gonna start with this, which is the African Botanics. I love this product. Then I put my oil on there. So I just do. I've always had some kind of routine and I enjoy it more now that I'm older. I'm not religious about it, which I know a lot of people would be like, you have to take your makeup off your face every night. And I'm not gonna lie, I have nights I don't do that. I think because I love products so much, that keeps me playing with my skincare routine. And I, I change it all the time. So like what I'm using today will not be what I use next week. I do like to do eye masks under a full mask. I love before I put on makeup. Everyone always asks me like skincare, skincare, like what do you do, what do you do? Three things, sleep, hydration, supplement. I created a supplement with InBloom called Beauty Aura and I take this every day. And for me, skin, like fine lines, hair, nails, this is, this is my dream product. And I'm gonna do two scoops of this beauty. So I just mixed this up. I'm gonna drink this as we're moving along. This supports skin elasticity, stronger nails, hair. I'll give this a roll. Let's get rid of this one. So for me, Meditation is probably the most important self-care that I do in a day. I know it sounds silly, but when you have your mask on, it's actually a good time to do it. You can do a nice 10 minute meditation. I can thank my mom for her love of meditation and her really being a proponent for that in mental health and mental fitness, we like to call it, because she's been you know, doing all that since the 70s, darling. I did these cocktail concentrates with my friend Karen over at Juice Beauty. This is matcha. This has got matcha in it, so it kind of like wakes your skin up. This might be my favorite cream that I've used in a long time. Basically, this feeds and supports your microbiome on your skin, which is what your largest organ. People always ask me like, what advice does your mom give you, especially with like skincare and beauty and stuff. So we actually give each other advice and this is one product, the Symbiome, that I've kind of, you know, been like, this product is heaven. She was into stuff before anyone was into it. My mom was like drinking mushroom juice. She had a Chinese medicine doctor that would bring these like tinctures to the house and like in these big things that looked like animals were like floating inside of it, but they were really just roots. She'd drink it and I'd be like, what are you? What's so long? As I got older, I was like, mom's really onto something. <laughs> I know this is very popular. There's a reason for it. My daughter just, you know, watches me do my makeup and next thing you know, I'm in her room. She's now all about doing everything herself. I mean, her makeup looks like a Pat McGrath tutorial. Somehow at four years old can do a pink cat eye like nobody's business. Your kids, they learn from you. One of the most important things to me, sunscreen. Today I'm using Barbara Sturm Sun Drops. Let's do makeup. I'm going to use RMS Beauty foundation. This is a little different than I think what most people do. So I take a little bit like this. I kind of go like this and now I play. And then I keep it on here. You know, tricks that you learn from your makeup artist. I go a little bit warmer than my normal skin tone. And then I go around with paler product. So I'm going to do the Kosas. I use the beauty blender sometimes too, but I want to do this fast. So I'm gonna do my fingers. I'm gonna go in with the contour now. This is Gucci Westman. You bring it a little here, and then I'm going down into like, I call that the, the Kate Moss dip. So I always put a little bit, even before I do my eye makeup, I'll put a little bit of contour on my eyes because I like a more sun-kissed 
feeling to my face. I love all kinds of makeup looks. So I'm always like, I'm down. I'm down to play. I wanna have fun. I wanna do things that look weird. Let's do the eye. We're gonna do a really subtle eye. This guy I've had for 5,000 years. It's a Stila product. I love it. And what I usually do, this is another trick that I've learned, is like, so I dab it on here because I don't want a heavy eye today. It's basically like wake up makeup. So now because I have almond eyes, I bring everything under. It helps to elongate the eyes. I feel like everybody, every face is so different and like you kind of have to find the part of your face you want to accentuate. My whole life I wish it was my lips, but that's not what God gave me. So I go for the eyes. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of one of my favorite highlighters on my lid. So this is the Luminizer Quad. The one that I obviously use the most for my skin tone is this here. So I take that again, I'm using my little hand palette. This is actually a product that I have no idea what it is, but it was sent to me. I like how black it is and it's called Petite and Pretty and it's called Fully Feathered Volumizing. And that honestly is exactly what it feels like it does. I like clean product because my skin responds to it better. I have very sensitive skin and the less ingredients on my skin, the better. My grandmother is Jewish, was Jewish. Of all of the religions that I'm made up of, Judaism was the one I knew the, the most because she lived with us and she was very religious. She lit the candles every Friday and put a napkin on her head. And I remember when we were little, she put the little napkin on her head and we all thought it was funny. And she goes, it's not funny. But Graham was the best. So Judaism was everything that I ever knew. Let's get into the brows. So brows are my least favorite thing to do because I'm really not good at them, which is probably why I brush them multiple times while I'm doing my makeup. Here we go. I usually hold it to here. It's kind of like that TikTok thing that has all this stuff. So I hold it here and I press and I just dot, okay? There's one. I hold here and I press. So now I know that that's where I'm gonna actually do my brows from. This looks weird now, but it's not gonna look weird soon. Okay, so now what I do is I brush and now I'm literally gonna wipe it like this. <laughs> and you've never seen that before. This is a new brow method. Then what I do is I take this guy again. That's sort of like a person who doesn't know how to do brows way to do brows. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a highlighter. I'm gonna do a little here. And now I'm gonna use Monica Blunder, who by the way has the best product line. She's also a makeup artist I work with. So here's the liquid flush. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I kind of go a little bit heavier on my cheekbone and then I bring it, then I bring it down into my little um, cherry apple. Cherry apple, apple, just not cherry apple. <laughs> when I first started, I just played, you know, and I learned I was doing nine with Rob Marshall and it was an amazing cast. And of course, one of the most incredible people on that cast was Sophia Loren. So to be able to have worked with Sophia Loren was like, talk about a beauty icon. And I walked into a rehearsal and I realized I, I had nothing on my face. So I went into the mirror and, you know, I'm looking at all these beautiful women and Sophia Loren was watching me. <laughs> and she looked and she just went, more blush, darling, more blush. And I just thought like, I get to see Sophia Loren told me to put more blush on me. <laughs> I know it's silly, but I loved it. Let's go and do a little under eye. Let's do the lip. My partner, my man, Danny Fujikawa is Japanese. And so I've been learning a lot more about culturally just things I've never known. Danny and I actually went to Japan together and basically <laughs> spawed through Japan. It was the best. The Japanese sort of just take care of their skin. It's also part of their ritual of like, it's almost meditative, you know, where you soak and you sit and you bathe. Jessica, this is honest beauty. And I love it because it's not too dark, uh, but for green eyes, it's yummy because it makes your eyes kind of pop. 
when certain people have started doing their own product lines. I can trust them, you know, they're my girlfriends. I like supporting them because it's, it's, I know what they're putting out there is really good. I like this powder. I actually stole this from a makeup artist. They put it on me and I was like, ooh. And then I said, I'm gonna need that tonight. I said, I can send it back to you. And they were like, no, no, keep it. And I was like, really, are you sure? And they're like, no, 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 keep it. I know what I was doing. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. It's a by Terry. This bottle's taken me years to get through. There, done. Voila. I love you. Thanks for watching.